Hey guys, welcome back to part two of creating our dynamic heavy breathing system with number Religion 4. Like I said, this is part two, so if you haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link in the description down below for you to go watch that, in which we basically just started setting everything up that we have now. So in today's video, we're going to be finishing it all off and actually playing the sound effects, looping them, making sure that we only have them when and where we need to play them. So I don't really need to go over what's going to happen in the whole thing because I did that in part one. So again, if you haven't watched that, there's a link in the description down below for you to go watch that and download all the sound effects that you need in there as well. So like I say, I'll get into part two today now. So what we want to do after this is we want to then re-loop and start this again. So we can then still check again. If we're running, we can check to see if the stamina has gone down to the other bracket to then change the sound effect. So to do that, we need to get the perfect delay according to the sound effect. And we can just see how long it is and input that in a delay. However, I'm going to do it slightly differently to get it bang on perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to event begin play in this blueprint here. So for me, that's all the way up at the top here. I'm using it for this code. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it out a bit over here. And I'm going to hold down S and left click to get a sequence, plugging then zero into the code I already have. And then I can use then one for the code I want to make now. Although I want to have three different lines of code off of this part here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more pins. So I have then zero for that, then one, then two, and then three. So what we're going to do here is we want to add the audio component, stop it and get the duration of it so that we can then input that duration into the delay. This is very easy to do. All we want to do is just minimize this a little bit and then find the sound effects we have. So for me, that's content, and heavy breathing. Now I have heavy breathing, light breathing, medium breathing. We don't need the recovering as we're not doing that dynamically the same way we are here. So what I'm going to do is just simply drag and drop these three in there like so. Although not like that. Although yeah, we have it just put them all on top of each other. So now we have that. We can go back in here and we have these here like so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have light breathing on the top, medium in the middle, heavy on the bottom, the same way I did it down here. It really doesn't matter. This is just the way I want to set it out as it's neater and makes more sense for me. So once you've done that, you can put all these in a line like so, plugging then one into your top add audio component, then two in the second, then three in the bottom one. And all this is doing is it's literally just adding the component into this blueprint so we can then mess about with it, play with its settings, access it, all that good stuff. But also what add audio component does is it starts playing it in this blueprint, which we don't want. We don't want for when the player begins the game for them to hear the light breathing, medium breathing and heavy breathing all at the same time, especially when they're not even running. So all we need to do to fix that is come out the return value and just get a stop. And that will simply just stop the sound effect immediately before the player can even hear it. So we'll just duplicate that for both of these, plug in the return values in there, and the execution's in there as well. So we can then access this audio component without the player having to listen to it, like so. Then after this, we just want to get the duration of this to then use this in the delays, which we'll do in a minute. So to do that, it's very simple as well. We'll just come off the return value here. We'll get sound, so get sound down there like so. Off of the sound, which is going to get duration. So it's very simple. This is how we can find the duration of an audio component or an audio sound, anything like that in Unreal. Off this duration, all I'm going to do is just right click the return value, promote a variable and call this light breathing duration like so. And now we're going to be getting the duration for our light breathing sound effect perfectly like so. And this way means we can also just quickly change this audio component and we can then get the same correct duration for the new sound that we add. So all I'm going to do now is just select those three and duplicate these another two times down here again, like so, so we can use them for these other ones. We can plug the targets into this return value for the correct audios now. So instead of this top one, it's going to be light, medium and heavy, like so. And then all we need to do is just delete these last variables there, or actually we can just create new ones so we can plug those in. However, you can see these are all light breathing duration. So you want light, medium, and heavy. So an easy way to do that is we just create those two new variables. So we hit a plus variable. I'll call this one medium breathing duration. We can name these whatever you like as well. I'm going to make sure that this is a float, as that is what this variable is here. The duration is a float value. I hit a plus variable again and call this one heavy breathing duration. Compile and save that. And now what we can do is we just simply drag these onto the ones we want. So this middle one here, I want to be medium. So if I can just drag and drop medium breathing duration onto the set light breathing duration, it will just change it to set medium breathing. And do the same for heavy down there. 
So now what this is going to do is it's going to add our components, stop them so the player doesn't hear them, and just get the duration and promote that to a variable so we can access this later on, which will work great for us. We can now use this when we need it. So again, I'm just going to select that, hit C to comment it. I'm just going to do get breathing sound effect durations. So I know exactly what this does. Very easy to tell, very easy to do, very easy to use. So that works perfectly for us. So now what we're going to do is go all the way back down to our determine energy brackets or our check energy cusp event code that we have down here. So like I say, what we want to do is we want to put this into a delay so we can create a loop. Very simple. So what we're going to do is after the play breathing sound effect up here, what I'm going to do is create another float value. So another float variable, sorry. So what I'm going to do is hit a plus variable here and I'm going to just name this delay duration. So instead of now using these ones, I'm going to use these three durations to set this master one So I put in there. So you can call this master delay duration or master breathing duration, anything like that. But these three are specific to these three sound effects and this one is a master one which will change for one delay. It just makes this a little bit more efficient again. So what I'm going to do is set this delay duration after all of these play breathing sound effects like so. so I just set it there like this and you just drag and drop it onto the execution to set like that. What I want to set this to is the according breathing duration we have. So this top one here is light breathing. So I'm going to set this delay duration to be our light breathing duration we've just created. The middle one is medium. So I'll set that to be medium. And the bottom one is heavy. So I'll set that to be heavy. And like I say, what this is doing is basically when we're having the medium breathing, the delay duration will be what we need for the medium breathing sound effect. If it's heavy, it'll be what it needs to be heavy. And if it's light, the duration will be what it needs to be for light. So I hope that makes sense. And now let's use that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold on D and left click to get a delay, plugging that into all of these here. So all of these set delay durations will go into this delay here. So basically after it's played the sound effect, it's gonna go into the delay, which will then go into the loop. So after the completed, I'll just check energy. So this is the loop here. I'm doing that part first. So it makes more sense to you as to why we're doing this. So it just goes into the delay, which will wait for the sound effect to finish and then go back into this to cause the loop to again check to see which sound effect we should be playing. So then for this delay duration, all I'm going to do is simply just input this delay duration we have here. So now this is going to work great for us. So let me just select all of this and comment it and I'll run you through it. This one is going to be play correct breathing sound effect like so. And actually I won't comment all of that. I'll just have it for this one here like that. So again, let me run you through this. So when it's checking the energy, it's going to see how much energy we have to see if we have enough for it to be light breathing, medium breathing or heavy breathing, depending on how much or how little energy we have. Obviously, if it's light, medium or heavy, it will play the correct sound effect, which it does by setting that there, going up here and then just playing the sound like that, which we mentioned earlier. And then it's going to get the duration of this sound effect from the code we just made a minute ago off of event begin play set that to be the delay duration for those and then when it goes into the delay this delay duration essentially means it has the correct time in this duration so that whichever sound effect we're playing it will always loop after this correct amount of time as also we don't want it to start early we don't want it to start end so our sound effects sound like they have a perfect loop in them there is one other thing we need to add however and then also i should mention that this does look like it's going to continually loop this because at the start we aren't checking to see if we're running that's because we're doing it here. So when we play the breathing sound effect, it's going to see if we're running. If we are, it will play the sound effect we need. If we're not, it's going to do the recovering as we've stopped running now. And so then the final thing we need to add, which is the final for the whole code, is off this bottom branch here, off of false. So off of false, this basically means we've ran out of energy or we've ran out of stamina. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to set is running to false, as obviously we don't want to be running anymore. Now again, in my actual sprinting and stamina code, I believe I made it so that you actually do stop running when you run out of energy and stamina. So again, that's more in depth on the actual sprinting part. So I'd recommend watching that if you want to implement that part as well. So we're just gonna set the Boolean is running to false and we're gonna get a delay. So hold on D, left click to get a delay. I'm just gonna set this duration to 0 0.001. So just very, very small. Actually, I don't need a delay there, sorry. So what I'm just gonna do is set is running to false. So we're not running anymore. Off of this, I'm just going to call function, play breathing sound effect like that. I don't need to put an asset in there because what it's going to do is it's just going to go off that, play the sound effect, see that we're not running anymore, and then just play the recovering breath sound effect like that. And so now this should be the code done and this should work perfectly for us. I may as well just comment this here 
or actually no, I'll include this in this top comment box here as well as it is technically determining which sound effect to play. So if we compile and save this, we can hit play to test this and see if it's working. So I hold left shift, we can run about. We have this breathing sound effect here for our light breathing. If we continue running, we should change it to the medium breathing. There you go, you heard it change there. If we continue running, it should go to heavy breathing. There you go, it's switched over there. And if we continue running, we should run out of energy and we will get the recovering breath sound effect as we stop running. Like so, there you go, we have the recovering breath sound effect. Now I only have that once, you can put it in more than once, so they take multiple breaths in, and all you can do there is just put a delay after this, and then play it again, which will work great for you. So like I say, that is it done. So let me just give you a quick run through again. We're going to be running. When we start running, we're going to start draining the energy and checking the energy. To drain it, all we're doing is we're just getting our energy, taking a certain value off of it, and then draining it again, so it's a loop if we are still running. To play the breathing sound effect, all we're doing is setting the sound effect we want and playing a sound if we're running, and if we're not running, we're playing the recovering breath. And then to see which sound effect we're playing, all we're doing is seeing if our energy is in these brackets which we determined earlier. And if they are, it will play the correct sound effect like so. So I hope that makes sense. I can go through it more in the comments if you don't understand it, but I think I should have explained this fairly well. So I think that'll be it for this video, which we've done everything we wanted to do. So we've created this dynamic heavy breathing sound effect system in which when we are running, our breath will get progressively heavier as we get more tired and more exhausted from running. So we start off with light breathing. We've just switched over now to medium kind of breathing. Still not sure what you'd name it, it's just more heavy. And as we run even further, we'll get even heavier breathing, as you heard there. And then when we run out of energy, we'll get a recovering breath sound effect as well. So the players breathing deeply, inhale to get energy again, like so. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.